hair combed, face washed, body covered. Greetings and salutations. This is Outspoken Diva. Uh, this is a video, so that means I'm answering the question. Uh, yeah, this question, uh, let's just say that I, because of time constraint, I'm going to try my hardest not to go on a tangent. But trust me, this is, this one is a doozy. Here it goes. Would you continue to attend a church that decided to hold full services during the coronavirus uh, pandemic? The answer is no. I would not. I would have left the first. I would have declared myself gone the first uh, service I saw. They had full services. I would have been at home and I would have been like, church is open. Why is church open? Didn't they say... I would have left the first Sunday. And my reason is because I have three reasons. Uh, first, uh, is because this is now, I have to accept that this is not a ministry that doesn't um, adhere to the word of God. And the reason why I say that, I, can't, I won't say they don't read it. You know, but it's possible they don't read it either. But there are several scriptures I know in Matthew. There's uh, render under Caesar that is Caesar's. Um, also, there's a scripture about obeying the secular laws. Uh, you know, even though you're the sacred church, uh, that's Romans thirteen one and two, and it's probably several others. But those are two that are coming to my mind. Um. We are, you know, just because we're Christians and just because you're a church does not mean that you uh, don't obey the law, okay? If the law is telling you to not open the doors so we don't uh, pass the disease to other people or pass it around to one another, uh, don't open the doors. We're trying to, they were trying to, they are trying to flatten the curve. You know, we're, this is a pandemic. This is a, um, this is a serious thing going on. So, you know, people are dying. People have died. People are catching this disease. It's a disease. Sit down somewhere. The church is not just the building. The church is, is the people. The church is in, heart, in your heart. And I understand about the whole uh, fellowship situation. Trust me, I live... Uh, in the home with two people that uh, they are senior citizens that don't get to ch attend their church before this pandemic, uh, you know, but they find ways to serve God, spread his uh, message, you know, that thing. When they do get to uh, fellowship with, you know, members of the, of the congregation that they attend, you know, they attend then, you know, but it does not mean there's no requirement that we have to be in the building the first church was not always in a exact building stop that don't do that that's disgusting and that goes with the next point that i would you don't care nothing about anyone's health not your own not mine not no one else in the congregation nobody's you just care about being in this building and it's so unfortunate because as of this time that i'm making this uh video this is uh days after easter two pastors who did not uh close their doors at their church uh have passed away they died of the uh uh covid 19 of, of the coronavirus and they were acting big and bad and saying no i believe god and uh god is not gonna protect us so i would know that if someone had the disease we would know in our congregation you had it and apparently did you know and it's very irresponsible of them if they did know they might have perhaps passed that on to other people all i do know is they had it and they are no longer on this earth and yeah we can say god healed them on the other side of the river jordan that is true but but they still had they've still put themselves in harm's way that is still very irresponsible you put others in harm's way that is irresponsible 
you know and then the also that leads to the next point common sense common sense says that if i stay home as much as possible i only leave when i need to leave <laughs> you know that lessens much very much lessens my chances of getting this common sense said i need to stay in you know that's everybody and we know that this is not every church we're just talking about the churches that are have not um closed their doors because i saw also on easter in louisiana there was a um church that had over 1300 people for easter this is just that's just irresponsible i cannot i could not be a part of a a ministry that was that irresponsible i just th i am grateful and i am thankful for all the ministries all the churches that are uh closing their doors that are uh that have closed their doors i know the church i go to um we had to close our doors we were on the ordinance the first uh ordinance in dallas the first ordinance in dallas was 500 uh yeah that wasn't going to work for us so doors were closed they got creative no our pastor got creative we've been creative ever since since then i know it's down to like 10 now i think it's 10 yeah 10 and churches you know even these old timey churches uh as they call themselves i i know one that you know we are old kind time in church they had to figure it out you know teleconference and facebook live and things like that people have to figure it out because guess what the health of the people is important you'll learn how to spread god's word in a different form and i thank god for that i thank god for uh, even the pastors we make fun of pastors and churches and ministers that are having that have a living room or a office um ministries you know on the usual but guess what they were ahead of the curve they were ahead of everybody else they were ahead of the game i said that way uh they knew what to do you know they knew you know they knew they didn't have to scramble when they said okay get it uh churches y'all are gonna get close also you know the jokes was on joke was on us for uh picking the fun at them but i thank god for them i thank god for anybody who is trying to spread god's word in a creative manner and not complaining and not still trying to have uh uh church uh oh no churches their churches open and that kind of thing i'm i'm thankful for that i'm thankful for people who are helping uh others to uh uh spread god's word in different uh manners now i know there are other there were larger churches trying to help the smaller churches with equipment and maybe space you know those type of things uh or you know we uh not just the, not space or, but like space to train them with the equipment uh, uh also you know people who uh work in the communications field but you know their church they go to churches that don't have them you know they've stepped up and you know helped their church get on facebook live or uh set up teleconference uh phone calls for their congregation i'm i'm grateful for all of that i am grateful i am i thank god that somebody's using their noggin other than being defiant and saying no we're gonna have church no 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 one wants to be in this situation but it is important that like you know that we think about the health of the citizens your congregation the citizens your neighbors everyone everybody you know everybody's your neighbor you know you think about their health okay uh but yeah no that's my long answer is no i would i would be finding me another church if i was at a church that still wanted to be open during this uh pandemic okay uh, other than that, as you always know, that you can uh, send me questions in the email address in the inbox, not inbox, in the description box or on the blog that you see this on. By now, you would think I would know this, but how to say this, but I don't. Um, also, you can leave your questions, comments, and concerns in the comment section of the blog the video or the media uh social media site that you see this on uh other than that 
as always, talking to you in adult terms.